And I ain't gonna lie, my was fed up. I'm tired of all this cap shit. So I'm let this gonna be this is the video right here where I'm gonna be explaining why I literally this I will never play Grizzly World ever again. And I got a big announcement for y'all at the end of the video. What up, Moolah Gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. I'm back with another video. You already know how we rockin' cause I was stocking you the cushion my pocket. Listen, man, check it out. Hey, first off, first off, first thing first, man. I am not happy to be making this video, okay? Like, I did not, I did not, I didn't, I didn't want to make this video, bro. It's just the real truth and what's really going on. And I got, I got a big announcement for y'all at the end of this video, okay? A big one. So y'all just make sure y'all watch the whole video. Don't comment nothing before you listen to what I said for real, cause you're gonna make yourself look slow as hell. You hear me? So yeah, on fun and great. Let's get into it. It's just the real deal story. This was really going on. This where I've been at. This why I ain't been posting. This was going on, folks. So check it out. For everybody that don't know the whole story, I started doing Grizzly World RP. I ain't know nothing about GTA RP. I kind of moved to LA in July. I learned about uh, RP like right before I moved out here. I bought a, a brand new PC. Um, I paid for the white list. I figured all that shit out my damn self. You know what I'm saying? So once I figured it all out, I got on the RP world. It immediately hit. You know what I'm saying? Because my main channel, my main channel, which is almost at 400k. You know what I'm saying? RP kind of correlate with what I be doing, like the shit I be on anyway. So I'm already knowing like this shit gonna bust on my channel. It ended up turning my channel up. You know what I'm saying? Just playing RP off the jump. I think the first time I posted it, I got like 20k. You know what I'm saying? In like a day or two. I only had 15k subs on it. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh yeah, this a go. So as soon as I seen it go, bro, I stopped being scared. I was not afraid to spend no money. Grizzly coin in the server. For everybody that don't know what GTA RP and Grizzly World on the server, uh, you can buy Grizzly coin and that allows you to buy guns. You see what I'm saying? So when I first got in the server, I immediately figured out that the only way for me to make real money in the game was to buy guns. You see what I'm saying? Because I couldn't trap Cause for whatever reason, when I first came in there, I'm gonna I'm I'm tell the truth what's going on in the server, folks. Grizzly World is a bunch of bullies. They bully, they bully a motherfucker, they bully everybody in the server because I ain't gonna lie, I'm just gonna keep it a buck fifty. And this is nothing against T Grizzly at all. I rock with what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? This is just what I agree with and disagree with in the server. It's about the server. It's not about him as a person and him as a as a rapper, none of that. It's about the server. That's it. You feel me? And I know he don't control every little thing that go on the server. But from my experience, folks, from what I be seeing, or what we going on on my YouTube, on my TV screen, what I see, this nigga uh, in the game, he talked to niggas crazy. Now, I don't know why. I don't know if that's just like, go, go with his RP. I don't know. I ain't here to tell you. See, I ain't the one to know. But what I can tell you is he talked to everybody crazy. I'm talking about from Duke to all whoever the hell else, them other Grizzly World niggas he be running around with. He talked to everybody crazy. I'm talking about like they are some straight hoes. Like they are some goofies off the street. You hear me? Now, I don't know if that's just because that's just him like being his character in the game. I don't know. But since he talked to them crazy, he treat people like they crazy. Everybody else feel like they could do that to the rest of the server. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like you report, you report down. So anyway, when I first got in the server, I'm getting bullied. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting shot for no reason all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my ass smoked. For the cool first month and a half I'm on the server. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I get some money, I get robbed. Every time I get some money, I get sent to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying my best to follow all the rules so I don't get banned. You feel what I'm saying? But nobody else following the fucking rules in the server, though. So, after a while, I'm steady having to buy Grizzly Coin, Grizzly Coin, Grizzly Coin. I'm selling guns. I'm trying to get money in the server so I can better my content for y'all. You feel what I'm saying? So, it, it turned into a point where I'm, I'm, I'm spending... Real money, bro. When I tell y'all I spent four, five thousand dollars total, probably damn near six thousand total, just in the server on Grizzly Coin, bro. That shit costs four hundred dollars, bro, or two hundred dollars for a hundred. That's only four pipes. You get what I'm saying? That ain't a lot of money in the server, bro. So I'm I'm buying that shit consistently. My guns running out. I'm buying that shit consistently. You see what I'm saying? I'm buying bullets. I'm buying that shit consistently, trying to get money in the server to make content good for y'all. And I'm steady getting robbed. You feel what I'm saying? So, anyway, I got banned. The first time I got banned was because I loot box somebody. Now, what loot boxing is, is when you randomly rob somebody. It's GTA RP. Everybody getting their own content for those who don't know. So, you got to have a reason. You can't just randomly rob somebody. You got to make it like real life. You got to act out, act, act a scenario out, right? So, anyway, that's a whole other story. It's a bullshit reason. But this girl named Ripley, she ended up banning me. For life. 
You hear what I'm saying? Off the first time I ever did something, she got mad at me and banned me for life. Now, the whole reason she banned me, I'm already knowing. And she only banned me because she's a lame in real life. In real life, she, like, overweight. Like, she sit at home and play the game all day. And she ain't, probably ain't got that much money and shit. So, on the game, she gonna try to overexert her authority. You see what I'm saying? So, she banned a nigga for life because she like, mother, who the, who, who, do, you, do you know who I am? I'm Ripley. I run this city. I'm an man. I, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? So, she banned me for life. I made a video about it. T Grizzly ended up reaching out to me personally, unbanned me, and I got back in the service. Everything copacetic for a long time. I'm still cool. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm still in this bitch getting bullied. Y'all seen it plenty of times in, in the games, bro. Y'all seen it on the videos. I don't have to lie. Y'all seen me getting smoked and bullied for no reason a lot of times. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas not following the rules. Niggas RDMing me. Niggas smoking me at the hospital. All this shit is against the rules and it's supposed to get you banned. These niggas don't never get banned. So I stopped following the rules because I'm not finna be the only nigga running around the game steady getting poked, steady getting robbed, steady getting smoked. You feel me? Because I'm trying to be the only nigga following the rules. So I got banned the first time for that. Then I got unbanned, right? Then I got banned again for like a day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I made another video on that's still on my channel. I made another video on my channel where I got banned again for shooting a nigga after he was clearly. I'm talking about clearly. It's on the video. This is live in effect. You can clearly see this nigga came and bothered me, messed up my whole scene. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do nothing wrong. I you you're not supposed to shoot a nigga on the crutch. I didn't shoot no nigga on the crutch. It didn't say you, the rules don't say you can't up a pipe on a, on a nigga on the crutch. You feel what I'm saying? So messed up my whole scene of content, right? Came over there, fucked it up. Then got mad because I shot him in the game because he upped the pipe. You can see him going in the back, reaching for his pipe. It's all on the video, bro. I shot the nigga. They they banned me. I'm banned for a day, right? I make the video, niggas still mad, whole bunch of people end up DMing Ripley. Y'all gotta listen to the whole story for it to make sense. Whole bunch of people end up DMing Ripley and, and I guess quote unquote harassing her Discord and YouTube video comments or whatever because they like, you feel me, you for what you did to Mac Moolah. Now, I didn't tell them to do that. She get to get mad at me and shit. I didn't tell them to do that. I didn't say nothing like that in the video. You feel me? If they did that shit, that's because they agree with me and not you. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You feel me? So... I get banned again for 24 hours. I make a video about that, right? Then, uh, some whole other shit go on where I get banned for a month. Check me out. I get banned for a month for F8 quitting. Right? Now, check it out. This happened almost a month or two ago. I got banned, right? This damn near two months ago. I didn't say shit. I didn't say nothing to nobody. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't make no video. I didn't quote unquote clout chase like niggas keep saying I'm trying to do. I didn't do none of that. I complained about it in the Discord. I made a ticket. It didn't work. I, I took my lick. You feel me? So it all, now automatically, I'm like, man, I keep getting banned from this server. It's hard as hell to make money in here. If you're not a Grizzly World, you damn near can't do nothing. Like, you can't make no money for real. That's why the only niggas in the, in the server that got money is Grizzly World. The only niggas that got cars and all this shit is the niggas that got either Grizzly World or they dick riding Grizzly World, which I just refuse to do. That's boring. So we all finna be GG. We all finna dick ride GG. Or they just finna have all the niggas, all the money in the world. So even if we try to go against them, we just gonna get smoked. You feel me? So it's not even no point of, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just refuse to do that. I refuse to be on their side. I'm not doing it. It's like, that's like, that's like KD joining the Warriors, bro. I'm not doing that. You feel me? So... I'm going against them the whole time in the server, and I think it, these niggas got to start getting mad at me for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to smoke a lot of them niggas. I think a lot of them weird niggas start getting mad at me for real, like in real life type shit, right? So every time they noticed it was me, I was, I, y'all know I had a very distinct hair color, very distinct voice. So anytime they know it was me, they just smoked me for no reason. You see what I'm saying? They wouldn't really say nothing. It was RDM as hell. They smoked me for no reason. I get banned for a month though, right? So after my month, I'm like, man, fuck it. I can't make no more content. But what I will do is just go in the free server, right? Because I was in the whitelisted server. I'm like, I'll just go in the free server and make my content like that. I ain't, I ain't tripping. You feel me? I can buy money in there. I get my cars, clothes, holes in the, in the server. I'm not tripping at all, right? I kid you not, bro. My first day in the G in the new server, in the free server. My first day, I'm talking about I made a character. Nigga, I think I bought a car. I drove around. I figured some shit out. My first day recording. On a free server, I get banned for a month for RDM. Even though, now let me tell y'all, I got out the car, walked up on two niggas, RP to the fullest for like a minute and a half. Had my gun out and everything. Smoked them. 
They say I broke the rule because they was doing the job. I said, how the fuck am I supposed to know they doing the job? It ain't like y'all told, it, it ain't like in the rules y'all said, at the, at the, at this location, they will do this animation, do not kill them while doing that. Y'all didn't say that, bro. Y'all just wanted me, y'all just expected me to know when somebody was doing a job. I don't know what these niggas doing, bro. It's a game. I'm thinking these niggas dancing. I'm like, y'all think I'm playing with y'all? I, I will smoke y'all. Y'all be with them GG niggas, boy? I'm talking like, you feel me? I'm going crazy. They not responding. They like, wait, Nathan, you feel me? They on some weird shit. They like, what, bro? What are you talking about, bro? I ain't no smoking them. They call the admin. I get banned in the first 20 minutes in the free serve. I still don't say shit to nobody. I'm like, man, cool. I ain't tripping. I got like, at this point, I had like two, three weeks left till I get unbanned in the whitelist server. I'm like, I right, bet. You feel me? I'm just going to wait it out for that. I get back in the server. I go crazy. You see what I'm saying? Bro, I shit you not, shorty. I get back in the server. I don't even get a chance to play in the server, shorty. Okay? I don't even get a chance to play. I fly into the server, bro. I happen to check the group chat just to see what's going on and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been in the group chat for a while. I check the group chat, right? I check the group chat and I see another nigga a whole month and a half, a month, whole month later, you feel me? A whole nother nigga complaining about an admin abusing their power. And they sent the video in there. You see what I'm saying? So I replied, I said, hey bro, I don't know if you knew. This ain't exactly what I said. I don't remember exactly. I wish I had the screenshots. And this is on Jesus Christ. On God Green Earth, nigga, I got 20 some dead homies on my on, on every dead homie I ever had, bro. On every nigga I ever knew that passed away. God rest they soul. This is the real truth, shorty. And she lucky I don't got the screenshots. Bro, I say, I reply to the nigga. I say, I don't know if you knew, bro, but they do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't really no reason to come in here and make no ruckus. You feel me? Because it's not going to change shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, they're going to abuse their power. They're going to do what they want to do. It's going to get bad. Just make a ticket. If it don't work, chalk it up as an L. You feel what I'm saying? Here come Ripley. Ripley come out of nowhere. You feel me? She like, oh, don't even get me started. Don't, don't, don't get me started. Oh, you're making another YouTube video. Oh, you're just lying. This bitch to convince herself that I'm just lying about everything. When y'all see this shit in HD, 4K. Anyway, so, um, she like, oh, yeah, woo, woo, woo. I, I'm, I get the laugh at her ass. I'm like, okay, Ripley, like, you feel me? Okay, whatever you say, you know what I'm saying? So, she's steady trying to go back and forth. I get on some funny shit. I just, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not finna, I ain't even finna reply to her ass no more. You feel me? I'm finna just uh, react to her shit with hella emojis. You know, you can react to shit in, on Discord with the emojis. So I put the laughing emoji, thumbs down emoji, throw up emoji, exclamation part emoji, sad emoji, thumbs down emoji again. You feel me? Other laughing emoji. I'm just tweaking, like, you feel me? I'm just trolling. I'm high. I'm tweaking. I'm on the phone. I'm finna start streaming and shit. I'm just tweaking. You know what I'm saying? I got a blunt in my hand. I'm tweaking. She get the she she responded like a few more times. I just keep doing the same shit, right? I said, "Hey, yo, I promise I don't care." You feel me? I remember that's the last thing I said. Then she said like two more things after that. I kept doing a little reacting to the emoji shit, bro. When I said, "I swear to God, on everything I love, on every nigga I ever lost, boy, I'm no, I can't be no more serious than what I'm finna say right here, bro." She responded. The last thing I seen her say was, "Yeah, this will be your last time making a video." And clickbaiting Grizzly World, Grizzly Gang, or whatever, woody whoop, because you're not going to be in the server no more. Boop! And she kicked me. She banned me from the Discord. So now that I'm banned from the Discord, I can't even get in the server at all. Ain't nothing I can do. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm banned. In the, I've been banned out of Grizzly World for a whole damn near, a whole another month, damn near. I'm pretty sure it's been like a whole month, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And it wasn't because I broke no rules. It wasn't because I did nothing. It's just because Ripley don't like me. Simple. So this, I think this, this proved what I've been talking about the whole time. You see what I'm saying? I, it proved what I've been talking about. The whole shit I've been saying the whole time is Grizzly World, they admins gonna do. This, personally, bro, Grizzly World is, is for T Grizzly, Duke, and whoever rock with them to get their content, bro. It ain't really built for everybody to get their content. It ain't really built for Johnny Joe, the new guy, to get real content and come up off the shit like everybody else. Unless you go work a lame job. In the, in the server. Who the fuck want to work a job in the server, in, in, on the game? Who the fuck want to be the pizza man on the game, shorty? Every day, all day. Nobody want to do that. You see what I'm saying? So only niggas with money, motion, in the server, guns, all that. Only niggas with all this shit going on is these niggas. So it's like, it's like, imagine I make a game, I sell it to you, and I'm the only nigga with the cheat codes. I got all the fucking cheat codes. I'm talking about this nigga T. Grizzly. You can see him on the server. Niggas is shooting at him. 
All, all of them, bro. You can see, I've seen it plenty of times, bro. GG niggas, you'll be shooting at him, bro. They'll go, they'll just pop a man kit on. Boom. You, I'm like, bro, I'm blicking this nigga dead in his face. How he not? They got armor. They got all the money in the world, everything. You feel me? So it's just like, I feel like the way that shit ran, the way that shit go, the way that shit just, the way it operate, bro, is for them niggas to get their content. They don't really care about what everybody else got going on. It don't matter to them. You feel me? So I'm, I'm on some shit like, bro, I'm not finna keep getting banned from this fucking server, bro. This is one of the ways I'm trying to feed my family, G. Like, you know, I got plenty of businesses. I got five other YouTube channels. But this is one of the main, this, you, this shit was taking off fast, bro. I got to 30K in less than, like, I think I only think I got 100 videos on this channel, bro. Maybe. Barely. Now, I don't know. I ain't got 200 videos. 30K? I got over a million views on this channel, bro. You feel what I'm saying? That's 10 racks. That do good to play the game when you just start out. That's decent. You feel me? I can't keep getting banned, though, for bullshit, bro. I can't keep these niggas really be mad at you in real life over some shit you did in the game. I can't do that, folks. I can't do that. I'm trying to build some shit over here. You feel me? I'm trying to build this. I'm trying to sign other gamers. I'm trying to pay other gamers to do what's going on. You see what I'm saying? So I say all that shit to say, bro, I started my own. I'm starting. I'm starting my own. Repeat. My own server. And I'm going to tell y'all about this server. It's going to be called Guap Boy Land RP. Okay? It's going to be based in Chicago. I got real Chicago maps in the server. You see what I'm saying? I got real cars, clothes, holes. Everything you can imagine. Everything is custom. It's a city that you've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Everything was done properly the right way. Okay? Everything going to be kind of cheap. But the main thing is, bro, I'm going to be paying a lot of people to play the game in my server. You heard me right. To play in my server, I will be paying almost everybody who plays in my server. Only thing you got to do is get enough recorded hours in the server and you're going to start to make money. Eventually, I'm also going to be shouting everybody out in my server so that somebody gets recognition. On this channel, I'm going to give op opportunity from here until I get, I can get 10 million subscribers. I'm going to get everybody in my server an opportunity. You feel me? If you're doing good RP consistently in the server, I'm going to give you opportunity to actually post on my channel and actually get some exposure. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I RP it out with certain people. I'm going to make sure that everybody has somewhat of an equal opportunity to get money in the server, to get, to get, to get, to get everything they need in the server to take advantage and actually make decent content. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure that everything is just even out, bro. I'm going to make sure that everybody is good. We're going to have certain discords for creators. I'm going to drop a free game for y'all. I'm going to give y'all free updates. Y'all know I got a membership where I put on everybody on the entrepreneurship. So I'm going to give y'all free updates on when YouTube algorithm changes, Twitch. I'm going to show you step by step. Once you pay for the whitelist, I'm going to show you step by step how to set your stream up, how to do all this shit, bro. Tips and tricks. I'm going to really make it. It's really going to be like a creator's hub more than just a server, bro. I'm going to really make it so that everybody can come in here, get their content. Everybody can get their money. I want two, three million dollars a month to be generated by everybody in the server, bro. You know what I'm saying? You will have to pay for certain stuff, but it's going to be way cheaper than anybody, any of my competitors. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be a real, genuine, fun time, bro. It ain't going to be no bullshit. Everybody overly serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure it's actually events going on. I'm talking about events that you've never seen in no other RP server, bro. Point blank period. The coldest shit, the rawest shit. A nigga from the rack make a, uh, uh, make a server in the rack. You can't, go, you can't go wrong with it, folks. You can't go wrong with it. So make sure y'all just stay on the lookout for Guap Boy Land RP. We is this, 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 this close to being done. The Discord will be dropping on this channel very, very soon. So just make sure y'all stay tuned for the announcements. Um, once I drop the Discord, I'm going to need everybody. I'm going to give uh, certain people opportunity to play early. Before the, before, the, uh, before the server drops, I'm going to give everybody opportunity to play in the server early. You feel me? So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section. I'll get back to you. I'll get your Instagram. I'll keep you in mind. Um, you know, we're going to be playing a lot before we even come out to get content for everybody. Everybody can have their reviews on it. I can get the do's, the don'ts, the likes, the don't likes. I can just get everything good on the server before it actually officially come out. So we're going to be getting content for about a week. So if y'all interested in actually playing with Mac Moolah, um, I got a whole lot of other people coming over to the server. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're interested in actually getting paid to play GTA, even if you don't want to be a content creator, if you just want to get play, paid, because you are genuinely, genu 
Are you are genuine, genuinely contributing to my content? Please let me know in the comments if you're interested in that too, and I'll get back to you. You know what I'm saying? I have somebody on my team reply to all my comments. I get your Instagram. Or just drop your Instagram in the comments. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you're interested in. I have my team DM you, and then I'll personally talk to you myself. You feel me? But yeah, that's that's where I've been, y'all. That's why I ain't been posting on GTA. It ain't because I don't want to, bro. It's because I'm genuinely banned from both servers. You feel what I'm saying? For life. I'm, I'm banned from the whitelist server for life. There's nothing I can ever do unless I call. But I'm not, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not gonna keep calling. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm just not that type of nigga. I'm a real nigga. I don't know where these other niggas be from. I don't know what kind of life they live. I don't do shit like that. You feel me? My big homies ain't doing that like shit like that. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna be calling down on nigga neck trying to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I feel like, bro, I was like, bro, let's just keep it a buck, bro. As far as consistently, bro, I was like the second, third biggest fucking, bro. I was the second, third biggest platform in the server, bro. I'm on the server consistently every day. I'm pulling 20,000 views a video on a channel with 20,000 subscribers, bro. I got a Grizzly Go Grizzly World video with 140k. My first, my first GTA video, it wasn't even GTA RP, bro. I was playing a mission on GTA Online. This is before I even knew what RP was, bro. Bro, I got a hundred thousand views on that. You would think, you would think, right? I I know a nigga like that in my server. I I would never let you get banned for no bullshit. You would have to be tweaking in this server for you to get banned, bro. And even then, I'm going to call you and like, bro, just chill out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We've been seeing you do this a lot. We just need you to chill out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We want to all contribute. It would be more, you know what I'm saying? I want it to be more of like a one personal connection with me and my, especially people that's contributing the content in my server. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's still a business. I know it's a game, but it's a business. I would never let no creator in my server who pulling in all his views, all his promotion for my shit, helping me take over this, you know what I'm saying? I would never let no nigga feel like he just targeted. You feel me by the niggas that that run with me. You feel me? I would never I would never let that shit happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's all it is. Like that's like that's just I to me that just shit you just don't do, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Especially when it ain't hard to do, you know what I'm saying? And I don't feel no personal way about it. It's just shit I don't agree with on about how the server was ran. That's all it is, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there ain't no personal animosity nowhere. You feel me? It ain't none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? And for everybody that was saying I was overly trying to click play Grizzly Gang, bro. First of all, 8 out of 10 of them them titles is exactly what the fuck happened. Second of all, bro, I don't play this game enough to know who Grizzly Gang. How the fuck I'm supposed to know Grizzly Gang on this block? It's, how I'm supposed to know there's a whole other gang on the next block? I don't know that. I don't fucking know. It ain't like they tell you. It ain't like there's somebody that's going to give you a guide about what, to what's going on, bro. You come in that bitch blind, you don't know what's going on. You feel me? Even if somebody tell you something, you don't know if they lying. You feel me? I don't know what a gang's at. So when I was making a title, I'm like, these Grizzly Gang niggas is all up. Damn. Like, they own me. Like, they robbed me today. They shot me today. Nine times out of ten, that's exactly what happened. So it's not clickbait. If I'm in the fucking server, then somebody tell me awesome. You be in the server trying to find them niggas. What? Bro, it's Grizzly World. 90% of the niggas in here is Grizzly Gang. Are you stupid? It's not hard to find them, bro. You run around, 9 out of 10, you get randomly smoked, it's by somebody who GG. 9 out of 10, you get randomly robbed, it's by somebody who GG, because don't nobody else got the balls to break the rules like that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all that's going on, folks. Like I said, man, I ain't, I'm just not, I'm not, you're not going to keep stopping what's, what, what I got going on, stopping my Twitch streams, stopping my YouTube videos, you feel me? I'm, I'm using this shit to grow my shit to put more people on. I don't got time to play, bro. I don't got time to play, so I'm finna make some shit where I can't get banned in. You feel me? It's impossible to get banned in, which means the content will not stop for y'all. You feel me? It means the content is gonna be way better. It's gonna be thought out. It's gonna be way better than anything like them niggas. Like it's gonna be way better, bro. It's gonna be way better for. It's gonna be way friendlier for other content creators to come get their money to come make their bread. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be way friendly, friendlier for the new players. It's just going to be overall a better server. I took everything that was good and bad from Grizzly World. I played in District 10. I did the last few months. I played in YBN server. The last few months, I've been doing my Thug DZ to really see what's good, what's bad, what's right, what's wrong about every server. I'm talking about how it's ran, how they don't explain shit to nobody, how everything be overpriced, the underpriced, how they don't, how motherfuckers don't know what's going on when they get in the server. There's no how-to videos. 
There's no none of that for a lot of shit. I've I've literally made a list of five six hundred things, bro. I guarantee you, I'm gonna have the best server for. I I promise you, folks. I'm gonna have the best server you ever played in, G. And it's gonna be Chicago based with real Chicago buildings. I know y'all seen that early in the video. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on, folks. I hope y'all ready for Guap Boy Land. This shit finna be the biggest thing ever walking. So y'all just buckle up, stay tuned for more announcements. Give me about a few more weeks and we gonna be live, shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm gonna be paying creators, bro. I'm gonna be paying you decent too. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you get to pass a certain amount, of, a certain amount of hours on the game. You getting five hundred dollars, thousand dollars here, there. The same thousand, a few thousand I was spending a month in Grizzly World, I'm giving it to creators. So y'all can take that little money, buy a better PC, do this, do that, continue to grow. If I just motivate everybody to grow, I'm going to be signing gamers. I'm going to be doing a lot of shit to put a lot of people on, bro. I got a lot of, a lot of shit going. So 2023 looking real good for not just me, but for a lot of other people. I'm really excited about what I got going. I hope y'all excited too, you feel me? I'm saying? I know a lot of other people be complaining about the same shit I be complaining about in these RP servers. So everything y'all complain about is going to get fixed in my server. I, can, I mark my word on Funnel Grave. I love y'all. I see y'all. Squaw!